Hello. This is going to be a little bit of a departure from my usual uh, IL2 videos because I'm including a post commentary on it. I don't usually do that, but there's a few things I wanted to talk about and uh, introduce some mods that uh, make things a lot nicer in IL2. The server I'm flying on is Kaiser Bell. Map running at the moment is Kuban. And it has some real opportunities for German bombers to do some damage to Russian ground targets. At the moment I'm trying to go after a Russian convoy, I've already picked up a P-39 Bell of the Ira Cobra, which is trying to shoot me down to defend their ground targets. But uh, as you can see, my gunners are actually doing a pretty good job. They've already smoked him. He overshoots me and he has to come around again. And uh, I'm starting my bombing run here. This convoy really gets lined up well on this road. And even though there's a lot of tracer flying around, it's actually pretty safe to do this kind of mission. I'm, my loadout is four 500 kilogram bombs and 18 uh, 50 kilogram bombs, and I believe I dropped them all right on top of this mass of vehicles. And I ended up getting 29 ground kills for that. You look at those smoke plumes. Well, the P-39 is coming around for another attack, but uh, I'm ticking around my airplane to disrupt him, and uh, he overshoots me. And just as he goes over the top, my gunners uh, igniting catch his fire. And uh, with a fuel leak and some light damage, I head back to base, leaving him to roast. It actually took quite, quite a while to die, but I did get a kill right. Another thing I wanted to talk about actually in this video is a mod made by Benito Musso in uh, SAS1946.com. And uh, what it does is many things. Oh, you can, you can see one of my gunners got uh, killed actually there. And uh, it's laying there slumped out here. Anyway, the visual mod does many things, among others it uh, enables you to fly the game in 3D with analog exterior goggles or glasses, but uh, I think even more importantly it adds this uh, wonderful sense of inertia to the external camera views which is fully customizable. What it functionally does is it allows you to make uh, corrections to the camera angle or changes to the camera angle with a smoothness that is impossible to achieve in a regular IL2, even with the uh, track IR or head tracking. Cockpit view, just looking around, surveying the damage. There's some bullet holes in that canopy. Otherwise, uh, my plane is fine. The corrections there. That's a neutral airfield there to my uh, left. I don't want to land there though because it's uh, behind the enemy lines. And so I need to cross that little bay. And there will be my landing base. But back to the mod I was talking about. Everyone who's ever tried to do videos for IL-2 has noticed this problem with the external camera views, the F2, F2 view. When you uh, try to move the camera around, it always, always, always gets all jerky and discontinuous. But, and, and it really disrupts the continuity of the shots. And you end up needing to do uh, retakes and retakes and retakes until you get a good scene with no uh, abrupt camera movements. But as you can see here, I'm moving the mouse around, moving the camera view point around, and I'm also changing the direction where the camera is looking at. That's a new thing. And uh, yeah, look at that. It's completely smooth. And actually, if you look at the plane in this view, it, it makes it uh, look much more, much larger and more more percent than you, you usually get in IL-2. That, that gore looks just nasty. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't think that gunner survives. 
yeah, at the moment I'm just trucking along back to home base, trying to fill the gaps with my uh, inane uh, speaking. I'm also running uh, a cloud mod that I've made myself and the water mod that I've made myself, which is also which is actually included in the latest SAS mod pack. You can find it by installing the optional mod pack. Or SAS mod active by Pro Tree. That changes the water surface to look more natural in my opinion than the stock game. Here you can see the wisps of the cloud above my plane. Or behind actually, but yeah. And the reason I'm using SAS mod on this uh, server is that it turns out HSFX is apparently causing some sort of Java conflicts that cause the server logs to grow uncontrollably large in a very short time if uh, HSFX players join stock servers. It's, it, in theory it shouldn't uh, affect anything in the gameplay, but it still does. I guess is that HSFX changes some things in the map handling, spawn handling, or something in the Java classes that poses this incompatibilities. And here I'm uh, studying my approach to the airbase that you can see in the down the range. And I deploy my air brakes so that I can uh, lower my flaps. Because of course the JU-88 has this automatic flap system that pre prevents uh, flaps from going out beyond 250 km per hour. And I actually had to manually extend the landing gear because uh, some nasty fell and shot my hydraulics for my bones. That took this uh, fancy S turn here, the final approach. This is the flyby camera, of course, that's the familiar stock flyby camera. You can see uh, friendly one and nine sitting there on the, on the tarmac as I can down the landing. A little high over the threshold, but it's a suitable landing anyway. These runways are pretty long for these planes, especially when they're coming in empty. A little bit of a bounce, the tail went up and down, but good enough. Didn't break anything. Got the plane home safely, got all the points. That's about it. That's all I have to say about this video.